guys and girls, welcome back to Watch The Time. So I'm really pleased about to bring you my second Van Banner. I've had a Van Banner in before, the VBAO, uh, the green dial. Love it, still got it, it's in my collection. Um, have fitted it to a new strap. Hopefully you'll see a video for that it's pretty soon. But uh, I must say it was one that um, they, they sort of brought out a little while ago. It was sort of a cross between a dive watch and a field watch. It's sort of like merged together. They're calling it the layer. Um, nice, quite a big watch, but as I say, it takes a lot of aesthetic in terms of the cross between the two. Um, and one thing I'll say for Van Banner, with their parking master with the pictures that I've seen and reviews I've seen and the VBAO that I've had, their attention to detail is fantastic. Um, and I'm sure this will be no different. So when uh, LVR said, would I be interested in having a look? I was like, yeah, no doubt, of course. I would love to have a look at your watch because I do rate Van Banner. I think they're... They're going to go from strength to strength. I think 2023 and onwards is going to be them continuing to kick on. So really happy to, to get this watch in. Will it be for you? I guess there's no time at the present to find out. Thank you for tuning back in. And with that being said, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. All right, guys, so this is the watch. As you can see, I've already taken it off the leather strap. Not, not a bad leather strap at all. Enjoyed wearing it for a little while on there. But once I put it on the mesh, I uh, kind of left it on the mesh to be honest uh, you'll see in a minute yeah this is the box it came in slightly different it came with a little dent in it that's not really a big deal bam banner logo on there cleaning cloth inside which is what you got with the other watches as well you know, up in there you got an instruction sort of bit of paper just sort of guiding you through the watch and that's everything so let's put it all to the side i don't i never really concentrate too much on there in a foam to keep it safe in transit and this is the one i've got this is the vble 162 i'll leave a link taking you to this watch just to make your life a little bit easier um and there you go this is the mesh strap they also supply it with and uh, doesn't go match exactly given it's black and this is more of a distressed sort of black but um i've really enjoyed wearing it on this really easy on the fly adjustment on the mesh strap also so there we go so as i said the vb le 162 inside this watch is running an automatic seiko nh35 movement I'll bring some information up about that movement now. Rugged, reliable, 24 joules, 21,600 beats per hour. And as I've said many, many times at this point, it runs well within the parameters. This is running sort of 10 seconds slow a day. I'll take that all day long though. I think that's perfectly fine. Um, and as a daily wear, yeah, it's, it's not a small watch, but the movement inside is doing the business. And uh, yeah, very, very happy to have any sort of Seiko movements in my watches, only micro brands and the Express watches, I've said that before. So yeah, Seiko NH35 movement. The the construction of this watch, so is all stainless steel, aside from the crystal on the front and back. So it's a distressed stainless steel. So the bezel is, the bezel, case, crown, outer part of the exhibition case back, the mesh strap and the pin buckle clasp, but all come, also comes with this the, the lever, which is fitted. It's 316L stainless steel. This has got sort of like a coating and this is distressed. But um, yeah, all 316L stainless steel. The case thickness of this watch is 14.2 millimeters. The case diameter, when you measure it, the points from sort of there to there is 45.2. And when you include the crown going from the 9 to the 3, it was coming at 50.2 millimeters. The lug width on this is 20. That does taper down to 20 excuse me 24 it does taper down to 22 and back up to 24 at the clasp and obviously the leather strap was also 24 millimeters the lug to lug on this um is it's quite big which is probably what you'd expect given the sort of proportions of the watch it's 52.5 millimeters so yeah not a small watch and it's an interesting piece really given it's this sort of like a hybrid between a dive watch and a sort of field type watch although quite big for a field getting the size more really from sort of a diver but yeah that's that's the watch the case back is sapphire crystal and it does also come signed on there let me just bring it up to the camera let you have a quick it's got layer written on the back with sapphire 316l van banner watches and yeah sapphire crystal is nice to see i do like a sapphire sandwich oops give the game away but um yeah we'll get to that in a moment the the bezel is a stainless steel bezel as i've already said and it's a 120 click unidirectional i'll let you listen very very positive no bounce no back play a little bit tinny you might say 
But um, for a bezel, in terms of the alignment, in terms of the clicks, no issues whatsoever, really. And it does line up bang on. One more. There you go. See? Bang on. Nice. Nicely done. The crown is situated at the 3 o'clock. It is signed with the Van Banner logo. And when it sits sideways, it's basically bang on where it needs to be. We can read it. And it is a screw down crown, no problems with that. Nice size crown as well, nice to engage with, no issues. As I said, the, the strap it comes on is this leather. It's got layer signed to the side as is the mesh. And no, I like it really, no, I've had no issues with it. Uh, it's got this black sort of coating on there. It's got a double, it's got a deployment class, double pushes one each side and it opens up. If you wanna adjust it, all you do is pull this up, slide it across, jobs are good and really, really nice to use this strap really surprised me not a big fan of mesh straps normally but this one actually is really really comfortable the crystal covering the dial is sapphire crystal let me give it a quick wipe guys i do apologize so yeah it's a sapphire crystal and it looks like it's got a, a good amount of ar coating because it's not showing much judo lighting so that's very very good yeah nice legibility with the ar coating the water resistance is cited as being, as you'll see down there, 30 atmospheres. So that would give you sort of 300 meters of water resistance. And the weight will appear in the top right hand corner and below. So in the top right hand corner, it's coming up to 121 grams with the leather strap. And on the mesh strap, it was coming at 177 grams. So quite a bit more heft, but given the size of the watch, not really surprising, let's be honest. But let's have a look at the dial now, guys in a bit more detail so nothing's applied it looks like a sandwich dial from what i can see it, i might be wrong but that's how it looks nice sort of red fume dial it goes from red to sort of darker on the outside uh, and so i'll bring the loom up now i was going to hold off but the loom of this is fantastic look at that loom that is something to behold guys i i was so so impressed when I actually looked at the loom. I didn't have to, have to try very hard, but yeah, the loom is fantastic. You've got obviously one, you've got numerals on there. It's sort of two, four, eight, and 10, and 12. No, at six, because that's where the date board, date wheel is. Uh, your automatic written at the top. So if you can quite make that out there, yeah, automatic. And as I showed you, I'm gonna go 30 atmospheres down there. Uh, you've got VB below the 12 and above the, the date. For Van Banner, the hands, nice proportions. You've got a nice red arrow at the end of the second hand and nice sort of hands as well for the minute minute now, excuse me. I'm just looking at the the red dial. I think it looks beautiful. This was the one when the LV said he was gonna send one over. This was the one I wanted to see, to be honest, because I do like I do like red, I do like greens watches. I don't know how that sort of evolved over time, but they're sort of my preferences for the color of watches that i like as i said also a moment ago it has got a seiko nh35 movement so if i unscrew the crown nice little bit of pop as you'll see comes away from the case take it all the way out it will hack you put it back in it will start back up again if you turn it away from you you'll be able to add some charge into your watch if you take it out to the first position you'll be able to scroll through the date i do like where they put the date um, I do like it doesn't mess up the symmetry, but it looks really really cool down at the six o'clock position So you can change the date to where you want as I say if you take it all the way out It will hack put it back in as I say nice positive bounce the crown stem has been done very very well in terms of the size screw it back up and There you go. That's the that's the watch. That's the movement. That's the dial. That's the loom uh, Lots of good things going on here nice specs. Let me just pop it on the wrist quickly Give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. My wrist is just above a seven inch wrist, as I've said many times. And here's what it looks like on me. Not not a small watch. I think I can just about pull this off, to be honest. So um, if you've got below seven inch, unless you particularly like large watches, you might find it a bit heavy and a bit big. But um, for the bigger boys, you're gonna love this watch. Nice aesthetic, uh, nice sort of hybrid, as I said. But um, let me just give it another quick wipe. And then that will take me on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. If you've ever watched before, you know what's coming next. We always start with pants. I like to go to high with Parker. So what I think is pants, it's not a lot really. Um, and, so, and like I said, I'm not, a lot of it's subjective, guys. You can have things that you like and don't like. But things that I think are pants and Parker, as I said, starting with pants, is the size um, 
they made a statement piece of this being a little bit bigger. I would have liked it to be no bigger than 42 millimeters. So I'd like them to have shaved off sort of three mil. That would have been perfect for me. And the writing on the case, um, not not too offensive, not sort of as loud as sort of Invictus, but I don't think it needed to be on there. You got Van Banner written on there. You got Van Banner there. You got Van Banner Phoebe on the dial, but nothing really on the clasps, either clasp or sign. So maybe they could have reserved the writing on the case for the clasps. But um, yeah, the writing on the case as well. So the only two things I'll mention really for the for the things I think apparent is the the size and the writing on the case. What I think is pucker a considerable amount more actually. So the sapphire sandwich. What do we have? Sapphire on the front, sapphire on the back. Gives us a sapphire sandwich. Very very nice. The dial. I think the dial is beautiful. I like that red. As I said, almost fume dial where it gets darker as it goes out. Really nice. And I like the way they've done the proportions, as I said, with the, the date wheel being where it is and stuff. They've done that nicely. So the dial is very good. The loom, inevitable. Had to mention the loom. The loom is fabulous on this watch. And it's tended to be the case with Bambana generally. The bezel, the red, the bezel on this is rock solid. 120 click, no bounce, no back play. Lines up beautifully. The case finishing, I do like what they've done with the distress finish, actually. I think it's going to wear really well given... It's not going to show up marks too easily. And um, I just like it. Generally, I've not seen this many times, so it's nice to see. The straps they come with, the mesh strap is probably my favourite. But um, this leather strap is really, really nice. Smells very much like leather. Uh, nice embossment on there as well. And the price. You could pick this watch up for about £170. I'll leave the pricing up just next to me, actually, so you can have a look at the different pricing for your sort of region. So around £170, and I think that's... A whole lot of watch for the price so just to summarize what i think is parker as i'll go with the sapphire sandwich dial loom bezel case finish straps and the price and would i recommend the watch definitely i do like van banner i've said this many many times uh, i've had this in i've had the yeah I've, 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 but what i would like to get in at some point they brought i know a couple of new color options of the parking master they've gone for sort of like a mint green and they've also gone for a really sort of bright yellow. I'll bring both of them up now so you can have a look. But um, they do some fantastic pieces. Now, this is no different. I would definitely recommend this. A few different colours to choose from. So please head over and check them out. But guys and girls, please let me know what you think about this watch. And uh, maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel. And as always say, don't forget to like, subscribe. And always watch your time. Take care guys. All the very best.